Most people know these animals as an icon of climate change, not as luxury items. But what if I told you there's still a whole trade around the sale of their fur? And some of the biggest conservation NGOs, they're actually enabling it. Polar bears are one of the most climate vulnerable species. In just three decades, it could be too warm here for the polar bears to survive. And back in the 1970s, the hunting of them was banned. But an exception to the ban was made to preserve the rights for indigenous hunting. For these communities, hunting polar bears has long been a part of survival and culture. And today, indigenous subsistence hunting continues across the Arctic. However, Canada is the only country supplying the international commercial trade with polar bear skins and the only place where trophy hunting by non-indigenous hunters remains legal. Both the international trade and trophy hunters value and target the largest animals. There are real fears that this unnatural selection is placing further pressure on a species already at grave threat from a warming Arctic. Attempts to halt the international trade of polar bear fur has failed twice in the past, with some opposition coming in from some of the biggest conservation NGOs. And this year, at the world's biggest wildlife trade conference, this topic isn't even on the table. Over 1,800 polar bears have entered the international market since 2013, when the last attempt to protect polar bears failed. We are hoping that we can get enough interest generated that by the next COP, we'll have another proposal on the table.